Hey guys, for my final video for 2018, I've decided to go ahead and have a shootout between the GTEC A30 and the TiVo Tornado. Now, each machine has had its little histories with me. Um, not a huge fan of the board on the A30. Uh, where I am a huge fan of the TiVo board, uh, the build plate was kind of a headache because of the build material coming off the build plate with bubbles underneath it. Also, I had to replace the Bowden tube on that one and had some issues with the hot end. Um, with that said, I, like I said, I've got history with both machines, but this time I want to go ahead and do one very comparable print between the two of them. Both of them are going to be printing the same exact model, had to be sized to 390 millimeters tall. The reason why I couldn't go 400 is because the TiVo, unfortunately, can go, only go up to 400 millimeters, but this can go to 420. This one also has a 320 by 320 build plate, where that one only has a 300 by 300 build plate. With that said, this vase is going to pretty much take up the entire build volume of both printers, except for the A30 has got a little bit more wiggle room than the, the TiVo, but it should be a very fair print between the two. To keep things fair, I've also I'm using AMZ 3D filament on both machines. This one's going to have the dark blue, and that one's going to have the lake blue. So a little bit different color on the filament. Other than that, the print settings will be identical. Speed is supposed to be identical on both set on both printers. So it should give us a very good idea of what the prints will, will what the print quality of both printers can be. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get into the time lapse, and I'll see you at the end of it. Okay, according to the TiVo, that was 20 hours and 9 minutes. And I took a quick glance at the time lapse, and it looked like that the GTEC finished a little bit before, I'm guessing by about 2 or 3 minutes at the most, uh, probably less than that. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at them. First, we're going to start out with the TiVo. Now, right off the bat, I'm seeing an issue up here, and I'm sure you can maybe see it. It looks like it either skipped a layer. No, it looks like it just separated. So... I did use uh, Magigoo on the bed, so that made it a lot easier to remove. But let me get over here behind the camera so I can see what you're seeing. And as you can see right up here, there's a split right there. But the salmon skin is very, very evident on this. Let me get some light over here. And there's some more gaps right there. That's kind of some holes here and there could be from cooling but yes eh, it's an adhesion because uh this was printed exactly the same temperature it was printed 210 so it, was, it wasn't printed too cold and of course you can see the Bruce, uh, research logo right there on the side of that but i'm seeing lots of splits in it and a lot of salmon skin a lot of texture well let's go ahead and take a look at the gtech a30 Put that back there. And this one I've seen salmon skin on it as well. Let's take a closer look at it. Now on this one I am not seeing, well, take it back right there. 
is a hole in it right down there but I'm not seeing the splits in it that the other one had and as you can see there's the Prusa research right up here turned out a little bit better uh, salmon skin isn't as noticeable down here at the bottom as it is at the top now that could be just the texture of the vase I'm honestly not sure I'm seeing the very thin walls right there so I don't know what's going on with that I didn't notice it being that thin on the other one but okay there's a split so we got a little bit of a split right there but not near the splits that the other one had so all in all I think both of them turned out decent uh, I definitely I, I wouldn't if I was wanting to keep these vases for you know for a long term I would have definitely done it with the thicker walls I would have done did it just in vase mode uh, like this is kind of kind of just as a test print so but uh, definitely impressed with both printers I'm glad both of them finished out there wasn't any hang-ups on either one of them uh, the only thing is I did notice the extra splitting on the TiVo which I honestly can't explain that right off the moment at the moment well guys there you have it two printers just finished up doing some pretty good prints um, I'm happy with the way both of them printed uh, kind of wish that it printed a little bit better but then again if I had thicker walls on the on everything I think it would have printed better on both the machines that's the thin walls is probably what really really hurt the TiVo although the G Tech did do a better job with it which I'm I'm really glad to see that but kind of surprised as well because I honestly thought the TiVo was going to win this one <laughs> the guys thank you very much for watching most of all I want to thank you for all your support in 2018 I can't thank you enough for watching my videos and keeping things going and I look forward to making more videos for you in 2019 have a happy new year take care and I'll catch you in the next one hey guys thank you very much for watching this video when you have a chance please check out my website jimmyshawstidbits.com we can purchase merchandise from my Tee Public store, as well as check out my Amazon affiliate link. Anything purchased from one of those helps the channel tremendously, and I thank you for it. Also, if you'd like to support the channel as many of these people have, please check out my Patreon link over here. You can support the channel from there. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe over here. And if you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give one of these a shot. I think you're going to like them, especially that one over there. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Take care.